Well, Councilmember Novato said it absolutely beautifully, and it really does continue to be an honor to serve alongside her and call her a friend. I also want to send a special shout out to the members of my team, um, Lillian Cruz and Mayra Bayonet, uh, who are incredible public servants and serve our community every single day. And I want to take a moment, uh, well, actually a couple moments with point of points of privileges. Uh, one, I'm wearing pink today uh, because it is my daughter Teresita's birthday. Uh, so a very special day. To, so she's turning four today. So shout out to her. Um, and I brought something today that's that's pretty special to our family that my mom shared with me to bring with all of you. Um, on October 15th, we'll mark the 49th anniversary that my mom became a United States citizen. And uh, she shared with me the brochure uh, and has kept all of the letters that she received at the time uh, from the various elected officials that were in office at the time and um, always remembers fondly uh, and warmly that special day uh, because it was a special day in our family. Uh, my dad received his citizenship two years later. My dad uh, immigrated here from Ecuador, my mom from Chile. And I want to read a line uh, from the letter that Congressman Sarbanes uh, sent to my mom at the time. Uh, one of the greatest strengths of this nation is the splendid contribution which has been made by those born in other countries. I am certain you will continue that fine tradition and help to make the United States a better home for all people. Our Latino and immigrant population make contributions in every way imaginable, economically, culturally, um, and they have truly been on the front lines as so many have during the pandemic. Service workers continuing to report to work to keep our economy moving and to clean and ensure that our facilities are safe. Healthcare workers who are providing critical translation services to multicultural populations public health leaders and economic leaders who have kept their businesses running and thriving and open and trying their best to continue to serve our community through this extraordinarily difficult time. So I stand and all of us stand with all of you, uh, but this is an opportunity for us to reflect and acknowledge the incredible contributions of our Latino community. And I am so proud of the people that we are recognizing today who each and every day make contributions that keep us safe, that keep us moving, and that make this community the strong community that it is.